Uh, it kind of looks like everybody's in. And you're on mute. You like for me to open? Okay. Sorry. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. Um, Carolyn, you starting or am I starting? You do. Okay. Shame. Okay. Welcome to the last hurrah. Everything you need to know about Florida PTA Leadership Convention. I'm Tony Nielsen. I have on the call, I have on the Zoom, I have my co chair, Katie. And Lawrence is our the VP of leadership. And that's, I'm trying to see what's okay. Uh, okay. And our president, Carolyn. It's the next one. Okay. Yeah, President Carolyn and President elect Maxine. And Maxine, do you want to introduce the other EC members and state office? I thank you so much for that offer, but I'm going to turn it over to Madam President to do okay, that. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Welcome to tonight's edition of Road to Success, where we'll be talking about our Leadership Convention 2024. I'm very happy to see so many people here and interested in finding out more about Leadership Convention, how you can be engaged, and why not only you should be there, but the members of your local unit and county councils as well. I'd like to take a moment to introduce the members of the Board of Directors, inclusive of our EC, and our staff who have joined us this evening. You've already met Lawrence Claremont, the Vice President of Leadership Development. Say hi, Lawrence. Hello, everybody. Thanks I'm for going in the order, sorry, going in the order that I see everyone on my screen so as not to miss anyone. Next, I see Karen Mazzola, Vice President of Educational Development. Welcome. Maxine Lures, President-Elect. Good night, everybody. Welcome. Melanie Williams, our Secretary. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. And I I think that's all of the EC members I see right now. I'd also like to introduce the members of our board of directors who are with us. Uh, Holly DeLucia, our resource development chair. Good evening, everyone. Kay Hawkins, central region representative. Hi, everyone. Maria Norton, Miami-Dade County Council president for a few more days. Good evening, no one's counting. Uh, Denise Nicholas, our Awards and Recognition Chair. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining. Nicole Smith, Student Empowerment Chair. Good evening, everyone. Uh, do, 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 do. Bear with me, I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anybody. Tiffany Graham, Duval County Council President. Tiffany must not be able to come off mute. And also we're very fortunate to have a very engaged staff uh, and I'll introduce them as well. If you get communications from Florida PTA, they come from the illustrious Susan. Hello everybody. <laughs> we also have with us, I know that I saw Kimberly Adamski, compliance. Hi everyone. And I think I've touched on all of the members of our EC, BOD, and staff. Thanks again for joining us. Lean in, learn a lot, and get registered. Back to you, Tony. Thank you. As with our all of our activities, we start with the PTA mission. We can keep this and our PTA vows, values of collaboration, commitment, diversity, respect, and accountability in mind as we gather to grow together at Leadership Convention. So PTA's mission is every child, one voice. PTA's mission is to make every child's potential a re reality by engaging and empowering families and communities to advocate for all children. 
Katie, would you like to take the next slide? Sure. So what all is included in your registration for a leadership convention? Just a few of the things to uh, consider. You'll be receiving current training to be an effective leader. We'll have training for both new roles and um, uh, new responsibilities. It's an opportunity for board members to gain new uh, information and grow together as a board, build relationships while there. There will be plenty of opportunities for networking and collaboration during leadership convention. You'll be able to meet other PTA leaders. You'll be able to meet other leaders within your own county and Florida PTA leaders. We'll have some inspiring guest speakers as well. We'll talk about those um, speakers a little bit more going forward here. Um, mainly, one of, the, one of the main reasons for us to gather is to conduct the business of the association as required by our bylaws. We will talk about some of that information that's, uh, that is conducted within our general meetings a little bit later in the presentation as well. You'll see a lot of parliamentary procedure in action during those uh, meetings. And um, as we have an opportunity to discuss our legislative priorities and resources. Um, and also this is an election year uh, for the leaders of Florida PTA for 2024 through 2026. So you'll be a part of that election process as well during your um, registration and participation at Leadership Convention. Okay. In, in addition to this presentation, there are resources for you to continue to prepare for Leadership Convention. Information about the 2024 Leadership Convention can be found on the Florida PTA website under the Program and Events tab. Okay. okay. Katie, do you want to go? Yeah, on? we will be at the Omni Resort, um, Orlando in at Champions Gate, but we will also be conducting the leadership convention at the Osceola Conference Center, which is actually attached to the Omni Resort. Um, this is a layout of the facility where we will be having leadership convention. Um, you'll be, it's all on one floor. It's all in one spot. Most of it is all inside in the same place, which makes it really very convenient for all of the attendees to be able to participate and move from room to room um, without too much difficulty. A couple of things that I will point out, um, there's a little tiny white square at the bottom that says office. That is where you will be checking in for a uh, leadership convention to receive all of your uh, credentials for leadership convention. Next to that, you will see the market, it says marketplace. It is actually going to be our internet cafe. We'll be talking about that a little more in the um, presentation as well. This will be a great opportunity here for for food in the morning, snacks, and um, just a place to chill out, charge your phone, that kind of thing. Um, you can see where a lot of our class, where the workshops will be, those large ballroom areas, D and E, is where we will have the general meetings. Um, a, B, and C are where the exhibitors, sponsors, um, and the, the um, resource fair, a lot of that will be in that spot. Um, there's a little walkway off to the right there, and the photograph that's included is actually what that walkway looks like from the outside. That walkway leads to the Omni main building that with um, where the National Ballroom is, where some of the other ticketed events will be held. But you can see it's a covered, a covered walk just over to the next building. Um, there's also a patio on the opposite end of the um, Osceola Conference Center, which is a great opportunity to go outside, 
get a little sunshine and um, some fresh air and take a break outside if you if you would like to. It's a really nice facility. Um, everything is together. Um, so it makes it easy to get to all of the different parts of leadership convention. Okay, Polly, do you want to um, talk about exhibitors and sponsors? Yes, I am so happy to announce that we have over 80 booths filled in our exhibit hall. And we are going to have some wonderful exhibitors and sponsors on site for you this year. Can you do this slide? Of course, I wanna start by mentioning our top sponsors who are really supporting Florida PTA and helping present a leadership convention to all of you. We have AIM, many of you know AIM as your insurance company. We have EdFed, which is a banking organization from South Florida. They are big supporters of Florida PTA. We have FEA, which is the Florida Education Association, which is a teacher's advocacy organization here in Florida, a longtime Florida PTA partner. We have Life Touch. Many of you may know them from their photos and yearbook pro program. They will be there again with their photo booth. We have Active Minds a national PTA partner. They will be presenting workshops at leadership convention. We have Tree Ring Yearbook. Tree Ring is coming this year for the first time. And I have heard they may have a special treat for their current customers if anyone has used their service. And we have Close Bin, which is a, another fundraising organization that will be offering their programs to you. Along with all of the great sponsors and exhibitors we have, we, of course, have games and prizes in the exhibit hall. You'll find that many of the exhibitors will want to collect your personal information. And what we recommend is that you get some Avery uh, 5160 labels, which is the 30 labels per sheet. Print your name, your PTA's name, your email, and your phone number on the label. And then as they're asking you to fill out those information cards, you can just put one of those labels on there and move through the exhibit hall really quickly, meeting everybody um, so that you have time to balance out the exhibit hall with the workshop times and the other things to do at convention. Most of the exhibitors will have prizes that they're going to offer at their booth for when you uh, give them uh, your information. But Florida PTA also works with them to have an exhibit hall wide raffle. And part of this raffle, you'll have a raffle card in your convention bag. We'll ask you to visit a number of the vendors to collect stamps or, or markers or stickers. And then you turn that in at the back of the exhibit hall at the Florida PTA booth. And we will be drawing prizes four times during the weekend, four winners for those cards. And the winners will be posted in our BizAboo convention app. So it'll be important to stay up to date in Bizaboo so that you know if you have won and can pick up your award. The other thing that we'll have going on in Bizaboo, of course, will be our game, which were so popular last year in our earlier convention app we were using, but they're coming back again better than ever in Bizaboo. So start as soon as you get registered, you can access the app. And as soon as the games roll out, you can join the fun there. And of course, again, win some prizes for learning some stuff about PTA and having some fun at convention. Everybody, I can't wait to see you there. Thank you. Thank you, Polly. Um, our next is our resource fair. Melanie, would you like to speak on the resource fair? Thank you for that, Tony. He definitely. Um, <clears throat> so in addition to all the wonderful things that we're offering, we are inviting our resource vendors to join us on Saturday. That's July 20th from 12 to 3. We will have the resource fair. Our vendors are carefully selected because um, they pretty much align their mission with ours of securing the health, safety, education, and well-being of all children. And I know as PTA local units, we're always looking for programs to offer our families and communities. Most of these programs are free of cost, and that's why we invite them over. Um, so we anticipate that um, NAMI Florida will be present. They're a big mental health 
um, association. And MAD is um, drunk driving. Those That is so critical for our young people and even older folks to be aware of the dangers of drunk driving. Informed Families of Florida helps to um, protect your young people from the dangers of drugs, alcohol, other um, media influences that are not so good. And Safe House um, deals with human trafficking. And that is uh, something that we are really plagued with in our society. So we are bringing this information to you, our members, and we hope that you will attend a resource fair, take the information and use it um, to benefit our communities and our families. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Okay, I know Alvin is able to listen. I don't know if he's able to talk on this um, tonight. Alvin? Carolyn, would you would you like to talk about um, workshops? Sure. Uh, so Alvin is traveling. He's not able to uh, share with you this evening the plethora of workshops that we have planned for you. As usual, the workshops are not just devoted to your PTA positions because we recognize that as leaders, we should be more well-rounded and grounded in the overall purpose of leadership, which is to be able to lead others. So we have workshops that take care of your personal and professional development, as well as your PTA roles. Uh, we hope that you, if you come with more than one person, will divide and conquer. Look at the workshops when you get your program, Look at the app when you get it, when you uh, sign into that and de decide who will go to what workshop. Uh, all of you going to workshop does not benefit your local unit or your county council, but dividing and conquering will. The more knowledge that you have, the better you are able to serve our members in your respective areas. Some of the workshops are for fun. Uh, there are several tracks this time, and there's a specific track for students. Uh, with some really great workshops. Look for the ones that uh, perhaps even have some prizes associated with them. There are some workshops that you may want to attend with your children. Uh, there is a screening of a movie that you might want to take a look at, as well as things teaching your children about finances. So workshops for everyone on almost every topic that you can think of. By attending those workshops and participating in the other parts of our leadership convention, you will leave there more prepared to serve not only as a leader within PTA, but as a leader in your community. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Carolyn. Um, our next slide is um, Florida is PTA showcase. And da uh, Daniela is the, in charge of that. I'm not sure if she's on the Zoom call, Danielle. She might not be on the um, Zoom. The, interrupt me if you are, Danielle. The Florida PTA Showcase offers a variety of resources that are close to home. The PTA Advocacy Wall highlights monumental events and examples of how our advocacy for all children continues today. Submissions from the Reflection Program will be there to view. There will be information on national PTA programs, grants, and initiatives. Donated baskets will be displayed. Tickets are available for purchase for drawings for e every, each of the baskets. The proceeds go to the Florida PTA Student Scholarship Program. You can purchase ribbons for your name badge to show your support. In addition, there will be information about the Florida PTA, statewide PTAs, and other resources of the state office. Katie, would you like to talk about general meetings? Sure. We talked about it a little bit at the beginning of the presentation, but here's an opportunity to uh, just remind you that we will have general meetings each day during leadership convention that are open to all registered attendees where we do conduct the business of the association. Um, let's see, there will be uh, reports from uh, all of the uh, 
different positions um, on the board of directors. There will be some special recognitions offered during each of the general meetings. And there will be some really great keynote speakers at each of the meetings. And you'll learn a little bit more about them in just a minute here. Um, I did, just as a reminder, we do have um, an election this year. Um, voting delegates will participate in that election process. We will be doing elections um, digitally this uh, year through the apps. So we'll talk about that a little bit more at the time as well. We will have an opportunity to hear a little more about the um, uh, resolutions and we have an opportunity to discuss them and um, you'll see three different microphones in action um, as people bring up points for, against, um, and ask those questions or points of, of order um, at each of the microphones. The general meetings are really very interesting and informative and they're fun. You get to sit with your county, um, sit all together, and um, it's a really great opportunity to uh, participate in leading and directing um, uh, the direction of Florida PTA. Okay. Karen, I believe you are speaking on resolutions. Thank Karen you Mazzola. very much, Tony. Yes, uh, with regards to resolutions, your resolution committee has been hard at work uh, putting forth a proposed resolution. Resolutions are the way that we can advocate. It tells our board of directors and our leadership and our membership, you can go out and speak on this subject because the body has passed a resolution. So that is the hope of the resolutions committee this time. They're putting forth a resolution regarding the collection of data for the youth risk behavior survey. It was modified in the last year or two that it doesn't collect the data that's as useful as we would like within the school district. So we are asking for it to be modified to meet student needs. Um, the resolutions committee with the lead Katie Murphy will be putting on a workshop to explain this resolution and a workshop as to how, if you want to put forth an issue on resolutions. So we look forward to seeing you there. Thank you, Katie. I mean, Katie, Karen, K two Ks. <laughs> and we have great keynote speakers this year. We have the 2024 Florida Teacher of the Year. We have Devin Coleman, who is an author, speaker, consultant. Our past national PTA president, Anna Kane, and our research, a resource manager, owner, and singer, Ma Mala Monet. Okay. Regions and county caucuses. In addition to gathering with your county or region at the region at the general meetings, you will gather together during scheduled caucuses to share information. This is also where membership awards will be distributed to your unit. Your attendance, in, your attendance at leadership convention also helps your county to receive recognition. Katie, you want to talk about the county council recognition? Sure. We always enjoy a little friendly com uh, competition. Mm -hmm. So we have a county council Olympics um, where your county council has an opportunity to win, to take home some, uh, some hardware, um, some gold, silver, or bronze medals for increasing your attendance um, within your uh, county at leadership convention. Where it's really early in the game so we haven't really, nobody has really increased their attendance yet or surpassed their past attendance yet. But I know we've got some contenders out there and um, these are the uh, medal winners from last year, just as a reminder. And it only takes an increase of one to be in the running for a medal. 
uh, Escambia and Martin counties were able to do that last year. Silver increasing by five, Pasco, Duval, Seminole, Indian River, and Miami Dade, and then increasing by ten. That's a that can be a heavy lift, but increasing by ten, Hillsboro and Pinellas last year. Um, but I have a feeling that we'll have a lot more counties listed here uh, at the end of convention this year. Thank you, Katie. Uh -huh. And we have a new convention app, Visibo. And Lawrence, would you like to speak on about Visibo? I sure can. So this year, uh, we have opted to go with a different vendor for our convention app. And for those of you who are returning, uh, this app will offer some additional features that we did not have available in the previous app, and the intent is to enhance your experience at Leadership Convention. Now, the app will provide a lot of similar features. Uh, you'll be able to look at workshops, you'll be able to look at bios, you'll be able to look at, you know, the exhibitors and the, all the different things that are happening with Convention. But one of the biggest changes that you will notice is that this year, you'll be able to, to engage directly with the speakers you'll be able to engage directly with the exhibitors as well as directly with the sponsors. So you can do have a chat with them or you can connect with them via email. And Susan has posted in the chat already the um, link to uh, download the Visibo app. Uh, if you're accessing the app, use the email that you registered with. Uh, there's some information in there already, but what we would say and advocate for you to do is to go ahead and create your profile because one of the big things about the Visibo app is it is a great tool and a resource to network with other people that are attending convention and other people from around the state. And so the other thing, Kit, is uh, probably had mentioned the uh, game. Uh, this is the application where you will find that information. A lot of things are done via push notification or real-time announcements. So if there's a change in a workshop or a change in the speaker or some whatever change may occur or a lost child or a lost parent, lost and found, uh, everything will go out through the Visible app and you can communicate back and forth with us through that app. The app, as you just noticed, is going to be shared with all attendees. It is also shared with all speakers. It is also shared with all exhibitors and sponsors so everyone can utilize that as a tool to engage with each other and get to know each other better. Um, Carolyn, do you want to speak about the new feature that will be happening with the convention app this year? If I come off mute. Uh, so sure, thank you, Lawrence. Uh, we'll be voting uh, using the app this year. Uh, it will allow us to not have such a limited amount of time for voting. And if they're in the event of runoffs, give us an opportunity to address those as well through one easy application. Visibo is Visibo, Visibo has proven to be quite the application on behalf of our members. Thank you. Thank you, Carolyn. And whether you're an Android fan or Team Apple, uh, the Visibo application will work. It also works on tablets as well as via the web. And so if you can, uh, download the link, share it with the others that are attending, and start creating your profiles. We're looking forward to engaging with you. Thank you, Lawrence. Okay, we have three special events that recognize achievement of PTA units and visitors in many areas of the PTA mission with a celebration and a wonderful meal. Tickets are available to reserve your seat or your meal selection at the time of registration or can be added later, but they must be purchased before leadership conventions. Tickets will not be sold on site. So we have the awards and recognition celebration, diversity, equity, inclusion, and justice event, and Florida PTA scholarship events. Um, Nicola, is Nicholas on or Karen, can you speak on the diversity, equity, inclusion, and justice event? Hi, Tony. It's oh, wait, wait a minute. I'm on the wrong one. I'm sorry. About awards. I'm sorry. <laughs> awards. There you go, Denise. Please talk about awards. <laughs> uh, thank you, Tone. Uh, great presentation tonight, by the way. 
Um, well, hello everyone. I'm Denise Nicholas. I'm your awards and recognition chair, and we are inviting everyone to please attend our awards and recognition celebration. That's going to be Friday, July 19th. Um, tickets are available for $44. Please, please, please purchase them now because tickets are selling fast and we hope to sell them out. Um, we have sent out our finalist letters to everyone who has, who is in the process of, um, right now we are um, in the process of judging all of our awards and our winners will be announced at the luncheon. Um, we are very excited to have the amazing, phenomenal, inspirational um, past president and, uh, of National PTA, Anna King, will be our keynote speaker, and she is absolutely wonderful. It's a great opportunity to network with other PTAs and other members of PTA here in Florida and to learn more about the amazing programs and cheer on all the amazing things all of you do. So thank you so much, and we look forward to seeing you then. Thank you, Denise. Now, Karen, um, would you like to speak or Nicholas speak on um, our diversity, equity, inclusion, justice event? Absolutely. I do not see our chair of our DEIJ committee on, um, but that is Dr. Nicholas Nelson Godard and his team are planning for the DEIJ event. It is also a luncheon which occurs on Saturday. Um, it's the same cost as the Friday luncheon for awards. Uh, generally speaking, you get to choose your meal between, between three choices, uh, a chicken, a fish, and a vegetarian. And then we have a wonderful speaker who's right here from Central Florida, uh, uh, civil rights, LBGTQ plus advocate uh, that we'll talk to about it. But to me, the best part of going to uh, this luncheon or even the awards event is that we get to hear about what other PTs or A's are doing and what award-winning programs they're putting on that we can listen to and adapt and put them on in our own schools, as well as collaborate at our tables um, to get fresh ideas. So we invite you all to join, even if you already registered, you can go back and you can buy the tickets, but you have to do it uh, quickly, like Denise said, because uh, the goals are to sell out. Thank you very much. Thank you, Karen. And Crystal is our chair of the PTA's Got Talent Scholarship event. Would you like to speak about your event, Crystal? Yes, hello, everyone. We are so excited, the scholarship committee, we are planning a great party with Caribbean carnival theme, and we are challenging all of our county councils to decorate a table by an island of their choice. Um, and if they have not claimed an island so far, they need to get with me or Jude on email. And so we plan to give a tour throughout the tables of a competition with that. And there's the tickets are $25. We will have a DJ. It's the best party of the weekend. You don't want to miss it. It's the great way to support bringing every child's potential to a reality. Hey, Tony. And that's on Saturday night at 7 p.m. Sorry. Awesome. Hey, Tony. Yes. Can I ask Crystal a question? Sure. Hey, Crystal, do I have to have talent to participate in PTA's Got Talent? No, <laughs> uh, all the more better and more fun because we'll just throw money on the stage to boo you off. <laughs> or right. keep you on. <laughs> or keep you on just for the fun of it. Oh, and you don't want to miss challenges like some people like our leaders and stuff are sometimes challenged to get on the dance floor too. So you don't want to miss stuff like that either. Mm -mm. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Crystal. Okay, uh, the Internet Cafe. We have made arrangements for the Internet Cafe to be available during Leadership Convention, conveniently located in the Osceola Conference Center. Breakfast vouchers can be purchased at the time of your registration or prior to convention to be used each morning at the Internet Cafe. 
Other food items will be available later each day. Check these scheduled times on the convention at a glance plant schedule of events on the Florida PTA website. There are tables where you can gather between workshops and outlets for charging electronics. Katie, you want to talk more about this staying at AMI? Sure. Um, this is our third year at uh, the Omni at Champions Gate um, and using the uh, Osceola Conference Center for the second year. So we hope that, you know, of course, there's um, a lot of uh, work to be done while we're there for leadership convention and opportunities for workshops and education and and uh, but we also know that you need to take a break now and then and enjoy um, the setting where you are at the Champions Gate. Um, there are uh, lots of things to uh, experience while you're there. If you have some extra time, if you're bringing your family, they've got pools and a lazy river and mini golf, um, uh, lots of things to do within the facility itself. Um, and of course, um, it's near Orlando, other, uh, some families do take, you know, the opportunity to go visit some of the other, uh, entertainment that's in the Orlando area while there's some PTA, uh, leaders doing their work and business at convention. So definitely some opportunities there for you to enjoy. There are other hotels and other options in the area, but we really don't have much, we don't have that information to share. Omni has offered us um, a very um, reasonable opportunity to stay there and enjoy their venue. One of the things oh, I do wanna point out, one of the things um, real quick that we talked about uh, that I wanna make sure I point out is the new um, Eagle's Edge. It's the one of it's a top tracer uh, golfing range. So I think it's kind of like top golf. So you can go practice your golf swing um, while you're there. Um, so they do have a lot to do right there at Omni Champions Gate. Thank you, Katie. Mm -hmm. Now, who attends a leadership convention? Everyone should attend. Most PTAs plan for two to four members to attend. Here are some suggestions. Your PTA president, president and treasurer, president, treasurer, secretary, president, treasurer, secretary, student member, president, treasurer, secretary, student member, another board member, or president, treasurer, secretary, student member, another board member, another interested member, or consider including the membership chair. Okay. 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 Katie, would you like to talk about registration? Sure. I think I saw Susan flash the link for registration in the chat. But just as a reminder, registration is live now on the Florida PTA website. Um, you can um, take advantage of that now, take advantage of early bird registration, um, our discounted rate, which is uh, through June 1st. Um, registering through June 1st is required to confirm voting delegates, voting delegate status. Um, your voting delegates are determined by your unit membership. It's on the Florida PTA website, how many voting delegates do get to participate in actual voting. Anybody can attend, but you only have a certain number of voting delegates able to vote on behalf of your unit. Um, so, but any questions about voting delegates, talk to um, your region's council rep or call the Florida PTA office. They'll be happy to help you find that information. But just as a reminder, that's through June 1st. I think registration for the event itself will finish in July 1st. And we will make sure that we have any updates 
in emails and social media, any, any information about registration. Um, I think that's about it as far as that goes. Um, all the registration information is available on the website and along with the tickets that are available for the special events. Is that registration? Okay. Registration rates. Didn't we just talk about that? Well, the registration rates are all um, a little bit different depending upon taking advantage of the um, early bird registration rate or regular registration. After, ju after June 1st, you can see that um, the registration rate does go up. We do have a couple of new features this year that I wanna be sure to point out. We've got um, a couple of different levels of youth registration. We'd love for our PTSA members to come along and take advantage of the student workshops that are available to them. Um, those registrations are on in the same place as the adult registration. We do have a day pass this year as well, which is something new. You can get, if if you can only come for one day, can't get away from work, you have other commitments, you are able to attend a leadership convention for one day only, and you can choose whether you attend on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday by selecting that day pass when you register. It's all available online. Okay, Katie, this is your expertise. Oh, okay. <laughs> Love the Omni. Resort <laughs> accommodations at the Omni, we did talk about it a little bit earlier, but we have secured a room rate um, through the Florida PTA link. You have access to that room rate that we have established with the Omni at $173 for their standard room with a discounted resort fee of $9. Um, if you're a tax exempt uh, organization as you are, you can read, you know, register tax exempt, bring along that tax exempt certificate, make sure that the name on the re reservation matches the name on the tax exempt information and the name on the tax exempt credit card. It all has to match. If you do wind up using a personal credit card, taxes will have to be applied. The Omni is also audited for their in their activities. So make sure that everything matches with your tax exempt credit cards. There will be a $100 incidental fee put on hold for each reservation. That must be paid with a credit card. Um, will be returned if no charges are made um, to the room at that time. We all get complimentary self-parking, which is really um, helpful. Um, it's very convenient right outside um, the, the building there. They've got a great area to unload and then go park. Parking has gone up there. Um, I think it's about 35 or $40. Uh, so a nine, uh, uh, the the uh, complimentary self-parking fee is, is really helpful. If you've already made arrangements and you need to make any changes to the reservations that you've already made, we can't help with that. We can't access that Omni information. So you'll need to call the 1-800-THE-OMNI. Um, Oops, I think I left out a word there, but it's 1-800-THE-OMNI to uh, make any changes to existing reservations. I think that's it. <laughs> Thank you. And um, and if you have any questions, we have answers. Is there any questions in the chat box or anybody hand raised? Wow. I do not sure. see any questions in the chat box currently. Okay, so join us this July. Pres, um, 
Carolyn, do you have any end closing remarks? Thank you, Tony. I just look forward to seeing everyone and having your active participation this summer. And I'll pass it to Maxine. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Tony and Katie. Wonderful job tonight. Um, thank you, everyone, for setting, spending your dinner time with us tonight. Look forward to seeing everyone in July. If you have any questions, please call the Florida PTA office or email Katie or Tony or Lawrence for any additional information. Again, thank you so much, everyone, for attending with us tonight. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.